quick cuts from Knife Chats. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you. Today's quick cut, a departure from the normal. We're going to be talking survival. And you know we're talking survival because I'm wearing camouflage. And you can't do a survival video on YouTube unless you're wearing camouflage. I think it's a rule. In any case, I'm going to look at specifically one thing that seems to be in everybody's survival gear. And it just irks the crap out of me when I see it. And that's their fishing gear. And it's something like this. A bag with a couple fish hooks in it and some fishing line. You know, about 30 feet of 10 pound monofilament fishing line. And somehow that's going to save their life when they're out in the wilderness lost. Fishing line and a couple fish hooks. I guess that's better than nothing, but if you are actually preparing a survival kit and you know you might need to use that survival kit, why in the world would you leave it with a little bit of fishing line and a couple fish hooks? There's a better option than that. And I'm not talking about those collapsible poles and stuff because those collapsible poles, they start out long and then they well, they collapse, they break. They're not really the strongest poles in the world. Um, and they're fidgety. So I'm not talking about those kind of things, but there are options better than collapsible poles and fish hooks and fishing line. Uh, so what's my solution? Well, while the other person is out there looking for a tree branch to tie his uh, fishing line to, I'm gonna break out this right here, a Zepco Dock Demon. It's about uh, 29, 30 inches long. Doesn't take up a whole lot of room. I can strap it to the side of my backpack and it's there. So, you know, if you're going backpack fishing or anything like that, you've got a nice small fishing pole. Doesn't take any time to set up or anything. Comes with 10 pound test line and, uh, you know, got a nice uh, little spinning reel. So if you know how to fish, this is gonna work out real well. That's the other thing. If you're actually thinking about survival and fishing learn how to fish before you're in that survival situation because fishing is not quite as easy as people think it is because those people who think it's easy think you can grab a piece of fishing line and a couple fish hooks and actually catch something so this is my solution to the survival fishing uh, situations is something like a zepco dock demon it's got flex you can actually cast with it, get out a good 20, 30 feet from the shore if you need to, uh, which isn't too bad. And then the other thing I would do, I guess you're just going to have to go dig up some worms or something for bait. Well, that's not always going to work either. Have some fishing tackle with you. In this case, on this side, I've got a crappie rig. Always keep a crappie rig with you. You never know when you're going to use it. You can catch other things besides crappie with it. Other side, I've got a float a variety of hooks, some weights, and a couple fishing lures. That way I actually have bait with me uh, when I'm in the survival situation. I'm not in the middle of the night going, oh, I better go dig up some worms to go fishing. I've got something that I can actually cast with and actually try and catch something. So this is gonna work a whole lot better. I know it's gonna take up more room than some fishing line and a couple hooks and a bag, but I tell you what, uh, we're talking about survival and if you're actually serious about survival you probably want some decent fishing gear and not just a couple hooks in a fishing line that is the bare minimum and it's really just going to let you starve something like this will actually give you the chance to actually catch something and eat that's my thoughts on it at least and like I also mentioned Learn to fish before you end up in that survival situation. It's not that hard to learn. Of course, it's a little harder to catch, but we all know that if you fish at all. But there's my uh, thoughts for today, and that's my uh, quick cuts for today. A survival lesson, actually get a fishing rod if you're going to go fishing. What a concept. And that's another wrap for a quick cut. Thanks a lot for dropping by.